You know, it's not that easy to paint inside of a scamp trailer, as some of you might already know. You, it's like trying to paint in a fishbowl or something. I don't know even how to explain it. Every nook, cranny, there's nothing square in it at all, so you're constantly moving your roller to the right, to the left, to make it work. And so, we have the paint done. It looks pretty good. The sheen came out very nice. The corners came out a lot better than I thought they would at the end. You can definitely see where the texture is of the, of the caulking seam. Uh, whoever suggested that 230 stuff, I can't remember what it was exactly, that was the best. It took the place of the other uh, Alex Seal stuff, I guess. As you can tell right now, I'm taping off these. They'll be sanded down, waxed, prepped, set up. Sanded these and then started getting the two-part primer from Alexiel. Uh, it was gray, it's the same stuff we used on the outside of the scamp in the last trailer. Uh, I was putting it on thin, but it was very drippy. Uh, this did take two coats and it was sanded once in Don't between. Worry, back over that. Nothing more fun than watching paint dry. Took down the bracket. Ordered my tree from Scamp, so I'll have a tree instead of the metal wire bracket up there. This is just the primer. It's a one in one paint. You put like a hardener stuff that goes with the regular paint. Anyway, it's kind of nice to paint something and not to worry about the floors because I could care less what happens to these floors. I'm putting the uh, vinyl plate flooring on here next. So I still got to paint this whole side. As you can tell, I've already done my fills and I've done my sanding. And the gray came out very good for the primer. Came out very smooth except for like a little patch, maybe like right there. And mind you, all this gets sanded before I paint. So honestly, this should look pretty good by the time it's done. I'm not gonna stay too long. I'm heating it up right now just to make sure it dries out properly. But more. There's my there's my power cord for my lights. Right there. Alright so I had to knife this really you know with the, the caulking I had and stuff. And uh, now I'm gonna try sliding out the front. See the top of that thing? Man, that is just dirty. One, two, three windows out. I might be the first person to move these windows since it was first bought. I mean, 79, there is a possibility. But look at that pile of old stuff all over the floor, too. Look at this stuff, man. 
feels like butyl tape, but like it's turned into a rock hard crust. It kept this trailer dry since 79. I mean, honestly, this thing had some leaks, but they were more in the middle there. Or I'm trying to think of there's oh, down here in the water bin. I found out where there was a spot where there was leaking water. Other than that, by the door over there. And that's from those vents that they stuck in. So honestly, quality buildmanship on this thing, if you think about how old it is, I don't care how crusty and old and stuff this was, it did its job. Yes, wasn't it nice? So originally I was gonna use the old handle uh, from the scamp people, but as you can tell, it's a rust bucket. I was already making an order for the rock card, so I thought, what the heck, I might as well just go ahead and get a new handle. Keys, I had to get keys for this anyway. Uh, a new set of rock guard hardware. I've got some new trim. Of course, got our new tree. Because, you know, everybody needs a new tree, right? Well, maybe not. Maybe some people like those spindles better. By the way, I have some spindles that people probably, if they need it, I will have. So here is the new rock guard. Let's see if I can do this with one hand here. Yeah, you can't really tell it, but man, it is definitely a lighter coat of yellow. Of off white than the oyster that mine is. I got the door piece. I don't really know what it goes to. It's only, it was only four dollars and oh, where is it? I'm not really sure. I saw a picture online about how it works. Something to do with going down here, and attaching. Once I got everything on and get it on the outside and pull it across or something. I'm not really sure. If I don't use it, it won't be that much of a loss. Stuffed in. Oh yes, the brackets for. For the awning there's only one problem i thought they were silver these are painted white and the legs too you know if that's normal i don't know i'll probably ask them in the forums but the bad thing is my i was hoping for aluminum they these are aluminum but i was hoping aluminum not white i was hoping for aluminum silverish color because i have a black awning so a black awning white legs and then a blue tra trailer is gonna look really weird so my wife came up with a really nice idea why don't we just you know paint them well hey there's where the trees went at one time you can maybe not see them very well sanding things down and you see the the imprint of the label It's a little short and then I'm trying to get the trim in and I got some holes but other than that it's going to look fine. What I did was put numbers on these things so I'd know where they were at. We'll see if they actually numbers stay. Uh, 
This one right here, I didn't know where he originally had this. I tried to find out if there's like two doors or something like that, maybe, possibly, but didn't quite match there. Didn't match over here. And he had this one loose. So I kind of figured it out. I think he had this one, a plan to go this direction. At least I, I think so. There's no holes originally for it, but I think I'm gonna use that because it's an odd size and I don't really have anything cut for it. Plus, uh, I already have a door for this. And then that's gonna get the fridge. So I'll have all the trim over there. And then I had to buy myself uh, a few more hinges I found online, of course. Everyone can find these, they're pretty easy. You can find them also at Home Depot, which I actually went to Lowe's to buy myself some screws. There's lots of things that you'd think that you might get back to. But anyway, I think it's turning out pretty good. I'm watching good old John with the scamp and little man. I always watch you, watching those guys.